And here is the pyriformis. This is the pyriformis. And you can see the movement. You can see when you are doing the internal external rotation, you can see the piriformis muscle is nicely rotating. Yeah, this is the moving piriformis. This side is sagittal and this side is piriformis. Yeah. This side is sagram, this piriformis is going under the sagram. Go on, go on. Make it. Now, now, now. Okay, and below hyperechoic area is your starting now. This one. Right. Okay, so, and you see how you are holding the probe also. Look up. Maximus is punctured. This lower muscle, there are two muscles here. Upper one is maximus, this is the... Hold for the forecast, this is the... You can see the movement of this. Lower muscle, this one. The needle tip is in the piriformis now. It is here. Uh -huh. I have gone through and through. I was close to the sighting now. I am into the. My needle tip is exactly in the piriformis now. Okay? So, what we do normally within the piriformis, we will be giving a little, little bit of local anesthetic. So, needle is nicely visible. I hope everybody can appreciate needle within the substance of the piriformis. So I am giving little bit of local there. Yes. Now what I will do, I will be going closer, so you can see the, my tip of the needle there. And I can go change the direction to puncture it at the different side of the piriformis. I am going little bit more medial. You see this is called jump sign. The muscle contracted when I puncture it. So I am puncturing again more medial, more medial, I am moving more medial, more medial and now what I will do, I will puncture it through and through and then I will be injecting the, see, towards sciatic nerve and I will be injecting dextrose there. So you can see, I am injecting dextrose there. So it is the subsectoral plane. So I am giving dextrose there, around 10 cc dextrose I will be giving. You can see, the other structures are going down, push down. Yes. Yes. What I will do, I will be again puncturing the, this is the piriformis. I will be puncturing little bit this part as well. Just puncturing also have important therapeutic effect. So you can see the two border of the piriformis is very nicely seen. This is the upper border and this is the lower border. So trigger, this is basically a trigger point injection and hydrodissection of the sciatic nerve. Okay, and now I will be showing you the other side under CM guidance. For the CM guidance, we have to see the great epicenter. So the great epicenter and the lower part of the sacroiliac joint draw an imaginary line. And just above the acetabulum, there I will be going perpendicular. 
So this will be my needle entry point. And piriformis muscle is like that. Imagine that muscle, picture ever. This is the this is the orientation of the piriformis muscle. And I'll be injecting here. Picture. Little bit on that side. And here the needle is placed perpendicularly. Huh? Just I'm checking where is my needle going. Just above the acetabulum. Just perpendicular. I am hitting the bone there. And what I will do, little is in the tunnel vision. I will be withdrawing a little bit and then I will be injecting dye. So this is a very beautiful dye spread. Just imagine I was swaying with the needle, uh, the swaying with the uh, forcep to sway the direction of the uh, of the piriformis muscle. So it is along the direction of the piriformis muscle. So you are ready? And now I will be giving your local anesthetic. And what I can do again? What I was doing other side? I can make a little bit of puncture. You can see this is called jump sign. The muscle will be jumping, contracting and little bit of local anesthetic and that's all.